subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon if you like our content. You click this video to know what would happen if we jump from space. First, need to know what is space jumping. And the science behind space jumping. Space jumping is the process of jumping from outer space back to Earth. It is also known as skydiving or base jumping. The process was first performed by Russian cosmonaut Alexei Leonov on March 18, 1966. He jumped from a height of about 100 kilometers, 62 miles. Since then, space jumping has become popular among thrill seekers and base jumpers. It is considered one of the most extreme sports in the world. There are only a handful of people who have completed space jumps, and many of them are professional base jumpers or skydivers. The process of space jumping is very dangerous, and several fatalities have been associated with the sport. To complete a space jump, an individual must first climb to a high altitude, typically using a balloon or airplane. The Science Behind Space Jumping In 1960, an American pilot became the first person to jump from space successfully. Since then, many people have attempted this feat, but only a handful have succeeded. So what's the science behind space jumping? You fall at about 120 miles per hour when you jump from space. But because there is no air resistance in space, you keep accelerating until you reach terminal velocity, which is about 200 miles per hour. At that point, your body experiences a force equivalent to your weight. If you were to try to jump from Earth's surface, you would only be able to reach a fraction of that speed before air resistance slows you down. And even if you could reach 200 miles per hour, the force on your body would be much greater than your weight due to the acceleration. The History of Space Jumping On October 14, 2012, Felix Baumgartner jumped from a balloon 24 miles above Earth, reaching a speed of 833.9 miles per hour and becoming the first person to break the sound barrier without the aid of a vehicle. The 43-year-old Austrian daredevil accomplished the feat with nothing but a pressurized suit and a helmet to protect him from the near vacuum of space. Baumgartner's jump was more than just a record-setting stunt, it was also an important test of how humans can survive in extremely high altitudes. If we ever hope to send people on long missions to Mars or other planets outside our solar system, we need to know how they'll fare in the harsh conditions of space. Baumgartner's freefall lasted for 4 minutes and 19 seconds before he deployed his parachute at 5,000 feet. What would happen if we jump from space? If you fall from space, you won't immediately fall directly toward the Earth. That's because you will be in orbit. The ISS travels at supersonic speeds, which is maintained to avoid falling back to Earth. If you fall from space, you, too, will start orbiting the Earth. Assuming that you jump from ISS, dropping from orbit may take around 2.5 years. Chinese space station Tiangong-1, which is in a lower orbit than ISS, took around 2 years to fall out of orbit. If jumping from space is dangerous, then. Why do people jump from space? When someone jumps from space, they are essentially falling to their death. The human body is not designed to withstand the pressure and cold of being in space. However, some people choose to jump from space as a means of suicide. The most common reason people jump from space is the lack of air pressure and the extreme cold. Without air pressure, the body cannot function properly and eventually die. The cold temperatures can also cause frostbite and hypothermia, which can be fatal. Some people may also jump from space because they are experiencing psychological distress. This can be caused by a variety of factors, including isolation, boredom, or anxiety. Jumping from space may seem like the best way to escape their current situation. It is important to remember that jumping from space is not viable for solving problems. Thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.